A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. What's up, guys? We're here at the Uma Sabatu Villas. Have a look at the rice fields. This has been our view from our villa. So we've got all these villas along here, and I'm going to show you our one, which is the one on the very end. Come on in. Firstly, you've got our little decking area out the front. Come upstairs. We've got a little seating area here, a nice chair here, which you can actually sit in it. And then if you put your legs out, you can lie like this. Very relaxing. So if you come inside, you've got here, lovely double bed, a mosquito net as well. I'll tell you why the mosquito net's really important, guys. It's because if you look at the windows all the way around, these open up, but also, these little latches here, they are not shutters. They stay like that. So pretty much, we're not completely shut out to the outside world. We have a TV here, which has Netflix, which is just amazing. We've actually started uh, a really cool like Korean series last night because we wanted to be cozy and it's very good, we'd recommend. Now I'm gonna go into the bathroom, which I think is very nice. So it's that classic barley vibe again, which is like a wet room, but instead of it just being a shower, we have a stunning bath, which I did use this morning. But now I'm going to show you some of the facilities that we have here at the Uma Sabatu Villa. So this is situated just above Abud. Um, it's called Tegelaland, which is uh, just below us. This is where all the rice fields are. Uh, this place here is about £29 a night. So very, very good value for the amount of like space you get in there, the nice double beds and everything, the scenery. It's amazing for the price. You do have access to two pools. Now this is the pool that we really like. Uh, we give it Flintstone vibes, don't we, Brad? So let's just carry on the Flintstone path. So we've got purple bean bags around the side here and here as well and then let's take a look at the pool so here we go guys here is the lovely pool obviously you've got amazing views of the rice fields while you're swimming you can lounge up on that flat bit there It's actually Tashi's birthday today, that's why we're staying in such a, it's a nice place in it in Abu. Yeah. So today we are running some errands, we've got some laundry to do. We have um, some food to eat and then we're going to go check out some waterfalls. So we're going to stay updated and we'll check in once we get our laundry, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, okay, see you in a bit. See you in a bit guys. Right Brad, tell us where we are. Okay, today we're going to a waterfall. It's called Sen, what's it called? Sen Panyang Waterfall. So that's the waterfall. Um, they said it's a little bit less busy than the main one. You have to pay a 20,000 entrance fee per person. 40,000, it works at just under three quid for two people to come down to the waterfall. They tell you to be careful of the steps. And they also tell you when, to get to the waterfall, you have to cross a river and to not let go of the rope because the current is very, very strong. You got that, Tash? Yeah, I got that. Yeah? Okay, let's go. Guys, that was the most scary thing ever. Tash was up here and she just slipped and fell down. Okay, so the waterfall is down this way. It's signposted with waterfall on the trees. So we're heading to the waterfall there. Oh, wow, blimey, that is powerful. No wonder where he says, don't swim under there. Yeah. Well, there's people down there. The sides of these walls are all cr like um, carved in. So as you can see, There's like faces everywhere, all along the side of these walls. Oh, wow, look at this, 
Imagine coming to a waterfall in Bali on your birthday. Attention, we are not responsible for the loss of your item. Thank you. If you want to cross, you have to cross using this rope down there. Dad, what do you say? What do you think? Are you going to make the cross here? I think we have to. I think we have to make the cross here. Yeah? Be careful! Careful! Oh my god! We're not going to be able to use this audio because it's just the... Oh, alright! I need to be careful, I've got my passport in there. Bloody got my passport in there, I forgot. Ogie's coming in clutch. <laughs> wow. Okay guys, we made it. We made it over this side of the waterfall. This is treacherous, I've got my passport in here. It's the most stupid thing I've ever done. <laughs> but it is what it is. That was the most scary thing ever. Tash was up here and she just slipped and fell down. And I thought, wow, Jesus, my heart went in my fucking mouth. I thought she broke a rib or something, but luckily where's her like a like a slide? She says she's okay, but I think she's just turn on a great place. So it's where it is. Yeah, I'm coming, you go first. Actually crossing is not that bad, it's just once you get to this side, it's a little bit slippery. That's okay. The wall fall ain't that bad man, it's beautiful. Look down there though. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down so I can make my way back across. I showed you one crossing, but it's a little bit dangerous. And I don't want to get my passport wet, so I'll see you in a bit. So I'm just stood over here chilling. Um, I've been going in like this natural pool that's just down in front of me. Brad is sat all the way over there in like a natural little hot tub that he's got all to stuff. I really don't even know. Oh, he's there. You can just about see him. You can't uh, zoom in on a GoPro. But yeah, so this is for my 24th birthday really. I've decided I wanted to come to a waterfall. Um, I love waterfalls, I've done waterfalls in the UK as well, like Team Sam, like down in like Devon, Cornwall, etc. Um, and I know in Bali, waterfalls are definitely a, a big feature and something that people do. And this is one that's a little bit less popular, guys. So I'm going to put the name of it on the screen now um, and the rough sort of location of it for you. Um, we highly recommend it's about 20,000 each. Uh, to come down, which is quite nice, which is good for you know the locals to make a little bit of money off of a really nice attraction that they have on their doorstep, which is fair enough. As I edit the video you're actually watching right now, I forgot me and Tash didn't actually do an outro. So the rest of the day we enjoyed Tash's birthday. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone that wished her a happy birthday. So hopefully you're liking the videos. Please hit that like and subscribe button. We're here in Bali for another couple of days and then we shoot to Australia. So stay tuned. Time